Thank you for saying it was Jennifer. I'm just, there are so many buzz, buzz going on on social media. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, so we, I don't know if we can, if we have, but we'll not have time to pick that video. But Piers Morgan, apparently I hear that he's been, um, he's, he's um, left um, um, the television network. So we don't know what the situation is. I don't know is. how true that no, is. No, 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 I just, I'm just looking at the Twitter feeds right now, you know. So hopefully... Is well based on the allegations about the comment that he made on um, what's it called um, um, the Duchess's uh, mental health. I think that's what I'm just reading now on Twitter. But we'll try to find it maybe before the end of the show. Yeah, I, I know he. I know he tweeted earlier. He said that um, someone um, made a comment about his leaving the the show while it was still while ongoing. It was still live. And then he commented and said there was no way he would have sat there and listened to his colleagues call him diabolical. Bolical, yes. And that was why he so had he to So he walked leave. out of the show. So we don't know what that means mm -hmm. if he's out of the network entirely. No, but, or, but that's what or, I'm just reading not. now because um, Uti also shared it on the on our WhatsApp group. So I'm sure by tomorrow everything will still come out. Yeah. All right, so, but let me take Lamy's story first because our story is linked to today's conversation. Let me take Lamy's story. Lamy, what did you find for us in the news today? Okay, my story is particularly linked to what has been troubling me is about last week. So when I saw the story, I just picked on it. So a couple of days ago, I went to a nail technician to get my nails done. Hmm. But I noticed that each time I go to the nail technician's shop, I always see boys of you know different characters strolling in and all that. Apparently, from their looks and all that, and their demeanor and all that, you can tell that they are all this, you know, that we bought. So, at last, I found my boys, and I had to raise a concern that there are quite a number of boys of, you know, questionable character that come into your shop, and, you know. And he, she just looked at me and said, please, 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 madam, ah, enough of this complaining. These are young boys that, you know, they are always the way to go, you know. They just have to do it to... to to make ends meet. And there's barely any young boy in Nigeria now, in Lagos particularly, that does not do it. Ah, ooh, I was shocked. Mm. She said absolutely nothing wrong. And she said, oh, what's there? Why, why am I complaining and all that? Please, please, these boys are just, you know, trying to make ends meet. So when I saw the story today, and the boy was particularly smiling. So I was a bit worried that, hmm, what is going on? Our values are co have completely been eroded. No values anymore, even up to parents. Parents don't even, because I even heard the Yahoo Mothers Association, yes, which yes. I still do not believe is No, existence. there is, though. There is. So I wonder that in another 10 years, hmm. what is going to happen? Hmm. This is another menace that, it's, that people are not paying attention to that is going to bust. The bubble is going to burst so, in another so 10 let, years to 20 years. Because I read down your story and I saw that they said the Uber driver bags three months jail term over internet fraud. So maybe that's why he's smiling. Maybe because it's just three months. He believes that at least he's done the crime. He's made the money. When I come out in three months. Because we've seen... Listen, uh, Lamy, you can't be shocked at this kind of development. Because we've seen people... They Now people say that if you want to steal, do not steal 200,000. No. Do not st steal like 500 billion. So that by the time you are coming out, you said to everybody, do you understand? Like it's almost like do not even try to make it make it a make it a lot bigger, you know, so that you'll be able to settle because they just believe that money can solve anything. anything. So and this is the same body language that lack of um uh what's it called pain for our crimes has has brought to all of us. So what do you expect? I don't think I don't think um and particularly the politicians get away with their crime. That is it. So so there's really Every nothing. Day. So they're setting a very, very bad precedent. So what else do you expect from the young That's generation? the word. That's the word. All right. So let me go to Jennifer. What did you find for us in the news? <laughs> Megan Marco, um, exaggerated royal racism, says father. Um, Megan Marco's um, dad is Thomas Marco, and they've been exchanged for a while now. And he suggested that his daughter exaggerated racism in the British royal family during her interview with the U.S. chat show host, Oprah Winfrey. According to him, he said that what she said was way over the top and suggested a royal family member could have asked a dumb question about her future baby's skin color. So, 
you know, say this matter. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I just believe this Sorosuke generation. I'm part of them. Oh. But you really can't say your mind because it seems like if you want to say your mind, people will want to shove their own opinion down your throat. The truth is, my sister is married to a French man. Her children, if I show you their pictures, they look in your eyes, they look like Oyimbo. But to a French man, they see them as more like blacks because their, their skin color is already diluted from the original white skin, right? So my point is, if you're get, getting married to a black, I mean, a white man and all of that, all of those things should already be, you, should, you, you, you by yourself should program your mind. There are some things you don't really need to even talk about or mention. So I tend to tilt towards Megan's dad on this conversation. But you know what? Because this is our conversation tonight, I will keep it there. Then when we come back from the break, when we are de dealing with the matter, I will not say more about it. But the truth is, I mean, that's what do you expect? She cannot give birth to a, a purely, um, uh, what's it called, fully fleshed white. They would be, it's mixed blood. That's what we call the uh, half caste now. You know, be sweet, they call them. You I, know? I feel for this particular. Eh? Um, Don't say half caste, but yeah. it's body. <laughs> but that's what we call them. The language is. Uh, mixed I know, I know. Mixed race. race. I'm just saying mixed that. That's our, that's our local slang for it. You know? We, me, we are, proud, we are proud to associate with the mixed race. You understand? I think for this particular news, mm. I just have a problem with the fact that her dad, because he's her dad, really came out to, he actually granted an interview to someone who has been against Megan from the start. Mm. From the start. Piers Morgan has never supported Megan in any way. Mm -hmm. He's always looking for ways to bring her down and you as her father, you're helping it. You're helping him. Mm. Come on. I'll help you that, that. Okay, we are coming to that. We'll continue the conversation. But finally, the royal family had, um, they, you know, because they've been quiet since Sunday when this um, news broke. I mean, when this interview rather, was aired and all of that. But finally, they have um, brought out their communique. Now, royal communications, I'll just read it. Tuesday, 9th March, 2011. The following statement is issued by the Buckingham Palace on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. The whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recon uh, recollections may vary, the, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Ha um, Harry, Meghan, and Archie will always be much loved um, family members so that's the statement so for those that have been saying that the royal family they've been quiet about um, this interview that um, the allegations that megan raised that is their statement so this is our conversation so we really can't talk much about it when we come back from the break right we'll delve into the matter stay with us we'll be right back <laughs> 